is so serious. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's morning. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. Okay, moving on. Take your white paint. Here I'm using White Swan and Graftobium Pro Paint Series. You can find that at promakeup.co. I'll provide a link down below where you can get it. Take your small brush and draw in two oval shapes right underneath your own eyes and two smaller shapes towards the bottom. Those will be the pupils later. Fill in the space above that with white. For that famous forehead point of his, draw in, it's gonna look like a heart shape, the top of it basically. Bring it down on both sides right to your temples and then make the same U shape above your cheeks on both sides. Trace out the circle where his nose is going to be later. Now you're going to take your black body paint, which I'm using the Graftobian Pro Paint series again, in Raven Black, and you're going to follow those lines that you created earlier and fill them completely in. Go back in with your white and fill in that area completely on the inside. Don't cover up the eyes, don't cover up your own eyes, just fill in the bridge of the nose and your mouth also. Keep in mind, we're leaving that space for where we want the black to go later. Fill all of that in above your eye and your eyelid. Flick your brush in an upward motion very quickly above your eyebrows and out away from them. It'll give that sort of grungy, dingy, dirty look. That's hot, right? So bring those streaks all the way down, fill in the pupils with black, and then fill in the nose with black as well. Make a couple lines at the bottom going outward. Those are gonna act like the tops of his cheeks. Also add a little bit of white for the highlight inside the pupil of his eyes. Then while rolling your eyes back into your head looking like a creeper, you can apply black shadow to help set it. I use the Cake Eyeliner in Jet Black from Graftobian Cosmetics. Take your white again, just make a little dot at the top of the nose for a highlight and a line right underneath it as well, just to make it stand out. Yes, now it's time for that creepy mouth of his. You're just going to take your red with a thin brush and sweep it all the way across your lips, going off to the sides and pulling it out at the corners. Make the little lines off to the sides too, act like his, his smile line. It's so creepy. And it doesn't have to be perfect, because guess what? He's not perfect, and neither am I. Okay, so use water and paint that all the way across your lips and then put enough water on your brush so that it drips down. It doesn't have to be any particular pattern, just make sure it's really dripping. You can use your finger to stop it where you want or you can let it keep going all the way. It's up to you. Taking a thinner brush, line the top of your lips with black just to create sort of a shadowing effect and also bring that down on the drips, right on top of them. Kisses for you, darling. Mwah. Flick your brush up and down a few times on the corners of your mouth, towards the outsides also, to give it a cross, like, stitching effect. Using that same motion, create lines on the top of the forehead to make the wrinkles. Using an eyeshadow brush, I grabbed that cake liner again by Graftobian Cosmetics. It's so awesome for making these shadow effects. Just follow the lines across the nose and around the forehead, around the cheeks, anywhere just to kind of create that depth. At this point, you can go to the Halloween store and get the Joker shirts that they have there, or you can just paint it on yourself. Using Global Colors Body Art in a lime green shade, I drew in the knot of the tie, which basically resembles the top of a squid's head. Sorry, that's the best I got. Block in his collared shirt by following the pattern around the tie and bringing those two flaps upwards. And we're gonna fill those completely in. Throw down another layer of lime green. That's gonna act like his vest. And then one more layer of turquoise on the outside of that. It's like seeing his shirt on the other side of the vest. And fill that in on both sides. Start laying down some purple for the lapels of his jacket. Now purple is kind of harder to work with. You really have to layer it because it's so light on the body. But once you get a few coats, it looks really, really good. Take a navy blue color and follow the collar, making a W that crisscrosses each other in the middle. Kind of acts like his checkers on the shirt. Follow the outline of the tie too. Oh, and halfway through, why not have an epic battle with a freaking fly? 
get out of here, idiot. Anyways, take the black and start outlining everything. Throw down a little more detail on the tie, bringing it all the way around and adding some shading. Keep going with the black on his lapels, on the shirt, on the vest, all the way. Add some more layers if you need to to make it thicker. Make even thicker lines when you're blocking in the lapels because that's the heaviest part of the jacket that you're going to see. Bring those lines all the way down and fill those in heavily. By the way, if you're a guy, you can bring this design all the way down your torso. But if you're a girl like myself, and I'm not trying to be that flashy, at least not for this video, you can stop it right across the top of your tube top, which I am wearing. Use that eyeshadow brush again for a little bit of the shading on the shirt. And then take your white and use it as a highlight. You can just kind of drag it across the tops of the collar. You can use it in the tie just to give it that little more of a 3D effect. It'll start popping out. should have told you this a little earlier, but make sure you bring that purple all the way down to where your wrist is at so it looks like the sleeves. Using white, you're going to make a circle that goes all the way around your wrist and color in your hands. Completely white. It'll look like his gloves. Do it on both sides. Color in the rest of the remaining space with black to look like Mickey's skin. Come back in with that eyeshadow brush and that cake liner one more time. Just kind of follow the own shape of your hands and create that shadow effect all the way around your wrists, on the inside, and your fingers. Let's get it all. Mickey has those three famous little slits on his glove, so shadow those in and then use your brush with black completely loaded onto it and make those streaks. Also, don't forget to paint your neck in black. All right, here it is, the final Mickey Joker mashup. A little bit of Twisted Disney for you guys, something cute, a little creepy. If you enjoyed this look, please like and subscribe. You can find me on Instagram at Bangle Queen. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> Do the laugh. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> <laughs> that was really bad. That was bad. I'm sorry. <laughs>